No, I'm not ready because that means I'm flex. I must be flexible like everybody else here because I am not. But these dogs are here. We're at Studio PDX uh, here on East Burnside, like 29th and Burnside. Um, it's a studio. They're just getting started in their class right now, starting to do a little yoga, do a little stretching. This is my first time doing yoga. Right now, this is Manuka Wigan, the owner of Studio PDX that's leading the class right now. I'm going to sneak around here. Excuse me as I step over you. Manuka. Tell me, what, what is this? What is dog yoga going on here? What, as they hold their pose for the next minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's fabulous. This is about exchanging and mirroring with your dog. So it's about an exchange of increasing the parasympathetic nervous system and increasing a calm demeanor in class. So it's engaging with your dog in a way to help improve their social ability and improve the owner's right, strength and, and flexibility. So... So are the dogs doing yoga at the same time? Because it looks like uh, they're just doing a lot of walking. It's a lot of stepping and stepping. So no, I have done canine rehabilitation and cranial sacral therapy is my focus. So with the dogs in class, it's about the owners in that relationship. At the end, I offer a rehab tip or I'll refer out to a DVM for anything like a TPLO or degenerative myelopathy. Any type of thing I might see in a general dog that an owner might not be aware of, I could push them towards a rehabilitation therapist. I'm also trained. Yeah. So that. is it... Mm -hmm. Is downward facing dog happening tonight? I mean, does that happen? Is that an actual yoga pose or is that just one of those things that they talk about? It's what's up, dog. Okay. What's up, dog? <laughs> what is up, dog? There's an up dog. Up dog. Okay. Dog, so. All right. So let's do some yoga with, uh, with the dogs. I'm going to have you walk, walk us through some, some poses. Like I said, I've never done it. So I am your student. What, what do I need to do? Please come on to your back. We'll do some core lifting. We'll just follow the class. Okay. So lay on the back. Yes. Okay. Grab a strap. I'm okay. So what do I do with this strap? Am I wrapping it around? Take it around the ball of your right foot. Okay. Okay. Yes. So the ball of my right foot. Lay back with the. Lay back. Lengthen your left leg long and engage your left inner thigh on the floor. So lay your I'm following everybody else. Do you have to be flexible to do this? Yes. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Okay. This, here, this stretches. <laughs> Holy cow. Do you have to be flexible? To, I don't want a dog treat. <laughs> all right. So when, when are your classes? All right. We, for right now, it's a changing schedule. You can check out our website. <laughs> 3 p.m. Right. 3 3 p.m. Sorry. 3 p.m. on Sundays. No, there's more. And 11 o'clock on Mondays. <laughs> 3 p.m. on Sundays. 11 o'clock on Mondays. 29th and Birdside. Come here. Bring everybody can bring their dog. Are there any dogs you don't allow? There, yeah. So there is a soft screening. It's a very tight group. I allow eight students, and it flows nicely. People come and go, and I make sure vaccines are done. All of that good stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> all right. Dog yoga. I think you said you're the first one in uh, in Portland to do this. I think. Lars think? Okay. <laughs> there we go. Portland's a dog uh, dog city. Oh my gosh, Cassidy. so many dogs, Devin. That was amazing. You stayed focused, even with all the adorable dogs just swarming <laughs> around crazy. you. That looks wonderful. Thank you.